people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasé. What they do. Welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment and news. Now, people, sometimes I get some video. Sometimes I don't speak about certain things. Sometimes certain things are too disgusting to mention. However, people, for this case, I am going to make an exception. And people, you know on this platform, we are not afraid to talk our mind. We are not homophobic. So therefore, when certain like a coward bloggers might not speak on certain things because they're afraid of backlash, I don't give a D-A-M-N. So people, I am going to talk about something that I notice that I find very disturbing in Jamaica. And this is not an isolated incident because people, I travel all over in Jamaica, all over the place, been to the highest and the lowest, say all sorts of stuff. I don't think that there's anything that can shock me or amaze me or awe me anymore. Now people, I got a video the other day, at least two videos the other day. And in this video, a two Jamaican fish. And not the preppy California type fish them. More of the gully species. The rough and tuggy looking one them. The bleach out one them. The gangster one them. The one them that if you go in at the dictionary and you search for Jamaican bad man, you would probably see their face with some sort of scar, some sort of screw face. However, people, these people are actually playing number two, meaning that they are living a double life. Don't know which of the life is more prevalent. Don't know which is the bigger life and then the next one are the double life. Me not really know. However, cut to the chase. In this video, somebody said, I have one video, I want top chopper, gunman, that them say, a man X him and cross him. Now people, for those of you that are not street inclined, I'll give you the reggae terminology. A man back him up, jack him up, legs spread eagle and a man drill him like black and decker code name the man I walk him a next man I walk a next man man pa man mano imano now people me now I'm gonna tell no lie when me see the video and the video start and then me see the next man I said, no sir, this is too much. I can't deal with this. I have to go delete that one. However, after I delete it, I send it to a friend of mine. You know, they have a group to a WhatsApp group. And she said she put in her WhatsApp group. Well, she was kind of afraid to put in her the WhatsApp group because she know uh, the backlash. You know, people, Jamaican people, they are very hypocritical. They are very homophobic even some of them were basically fishy you know it go when you go into the dance hall if you not like this if you not eat on the table if you not like G-A-Y bus up here blank when all of the time them are do the most you know I mean? them kind of fishy themselves so I just I say my point is that we know our people them very homophobic I guess sometimes it is because of lack of exposure and people have the right to defend whatever is culturally right in their eyes, you understand? But like me say, I have lived overseas for a couple of decades, so therefore 
men are frightened are afraid to talk about any certain topics. So people, here's the thing. Based on what the people them said that sent me this video, and then people, <laughs> surprisingly, just as I was about to speak about this topic, I get a picture that is linked to the same thing, and the man, the pan in knees, all fours, and of course, the next man in front of him, and of course, you know exactly, I don't have to say, as disgusting as it is to me, who is a straight man, you know exactly what he was doing. Down in a chote. Lord God, it even sound bad. So anyways, people, here's my thing. Here's the thing. It is said that this man is supposed to be a chopper. He must some sort of done a port more. Now, people, me can validate and verify any of this. Because, you know, so whenever anything goes on social media, you're going to hear a million story. You're going to hear everybody's version. Everybody have something to say. So therefore, what starts out as truth becomes half truth, quarter truth, till it just gets fairy tale ish Fairy being the operative word. So people, I just say, how is it that an island that is so homophobic become so fishy, become so shaky. Because people, here are the facts. If you go in the dance hall, the men, them pants tighter than the women. Not only are they wearing the European style tight shirt, t-shirt, they are also wearing what is Call blouse. Now, if he, now, people, we know that the fashion industry, it is like Sea World in Orlando. It is like the oceans, all of the ocean them. It full of fish. So therefore, they are promoting their agenda. However, like everything that bus in America, coming to a theatre near you, Jamaican one do the same thing. However, if somebody says something, them why, why it. However, them address why, X, Y, and Z. Man, I X them and cross them in a real life. So, people, me just I say, are you guys surprised that bad man turn fish? Remember? Bounty killer sing the song, me can't believe my eyes, me can't believe my eyes. How long was this song released? Do you think that things have gotten dramatically, drastically better or worse since then? Don't you see that every day you get up, you see something shocking on social media, you hear something shocking in the news. So therefore, if every day we are shocked, we are going to be like little boy we cry wolf. We're not going to believe or we're not going to be shocked anymore because it has become the norm. It is now normalized. So people, me just ask you, are you surprised that with the mindset, with the laziness, with the licky lickiness, literally, of these young youths in Jamaica, everything them say they want, However, they have zero education, they have zero skills, and for those that don't have the hearts or the guts, the backbone to pick up any sorts of crime, how do you think that they are in these clubs? No 9 to 5, no rich family background, no sorts of hustle on social media. How do you think they sustain this lifestyle? How do you think that they are in these clubs, in these pretty cars, in these uptown apartments? There has to be some common sense way in which they are pedal something. What do you think that they are pedal and dealing? 
Why do you think that they are not getting pedal and wheel? Because, people, you cannot just go to the table with your toe long on. You have to bring something to the table. There is no sorts of Santa Claus out there. So, therefore, if some rich fish overseas or even in a Jamaica I give you something, they are going to want some sorts of investments on their, some sort of return, sorry, economics. Some sort of returns on their investment. They are going to want to cash out sooner or later because people, while they are dealing with some Ponzi, this is no sort of Ponzi scheme. So therefore, they are going to expect to do certain things. Nothing comes for free. So therefore, you have to get a walk or else you are going to get double U-C-K in the worstest way. So people, me just I say, don't be very surprised when you see these youths in the club and them are pose up, them are drink the most champagne, them are wear all sorts of designer clothes, them have the hottest car, people, Talk about hot. Everything they pan fire. Them exhaust they pan fire. It a burn them. So people, me I go leave that right there. So you know this channel. Everything here is real. Nothing fake. No pretending. Talk it just like it is. The best and the baddest blogger pan YouTube. Not the hypest. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.